This is a lucky charm. There's medicine inside. It's used only for the races. The day of the races, I must wear it. Adignas, the best camel in Niger. Not just any camel. He's handsome. He's strong. The Bulalao is a camel swatter. It's like the gears on a car. If you use it, you go fast. If you don't, the camel stops. I don't like anything heavy in a race. All you need is the camel, the saddle and the swatter. Nothing else. Daddy is very good in the races. He's a champion. I've been racing camels for six years. I love it. I know it well. Gibi and Daddy now begin their four-week training. The pearl camel is a trotter, bred to run long distances through the bush. On the day of the race in Tanfirgan, they will run 10 miles before crossing the finish line. For weeks, morning and evening, they will take 15-mile runs around the village to prepare for the race. start showing up. The village is overrun by hordes of nomads. There are pearls, Tuaregs, Wadabes. All the ethnicities of this small world of camel racing are now here. Throughout the day, new arrivals will descend upon Belil Tanfergan. By midday, there are a lot more people than were expected. All told, the village will see 500 camels and over 1,300 people whose thirst will need quenching every day. The visitors will stay four days, the duration of the competition. Very soon, however, organizational problems arise that could create a hitch in the smooth flow of events. Jury is overwhelmed by the number of visitors and can only acknowledge the damage done. The water reserves are quickly depleted. He must find a quick solution to provide water to everyone. <laughs> the village children are very involved in the organization of the race. They'll be in charge of providing water to people throughout the festivities. In Tanfergan, fetching water is a chore generally assigned to girls. Every day they go to the pond carrying their containers. It's a good distance, about four miles away. But for this race, things will move twice as fast. Before and after school, they'll fetch water for over 1,000 people. There are still ponds for the time being, but in November, when the ponds have dried up, the Wadabi people must dig wells some 23 feet down and pull up water by hand all day long. Then in April, when even the wells have dried up, the children of Belil Tanfergan will have to travel far to find water.
During the dry season, every two days the girls will go even further to the bored wells to bring back the precious liquid. The closest one is 10 miles away, and the trip will take an entire day. For the time being, the only available water in the village is the pond water in which the cows have bathed. To Jury, the provision of water is a principal preoccupation for the village as well as for the race. Even if it isn't very appealing, there's nothing else to drink. It satisfies a need. Every day, poor water quality does terrible harm to the nomadic populations of the Sahel region. It's the cause of incurable diseases and one of the highest infant mortality rates in the world. It's very hard on the children. In the early afternoon, there are already a lot of people in front of the little school requisitioned for the event, waiting to sign up. A number is assigned to each camel that it will keep for the duration of the competition. Tomorrow will be spent entirely on the six race eliminatory program. The rules are simple. The first three winners of each race will qualify for the final race. And the first five winners of the final race will share the 1500 euro prize, a veritable fortune. Now it's Gaby's turn to sign up his camel, Adignes. <laughs> Drawing the number 46 is not the luckiest thing for Gaby. He'll be in the fourth race tomorrow at 4 p.m., the hottest time of the day, and the toughest race on all the animals. Based on this season's results in all the different races, Gaby is a serious contender in this competition. He's very motivated and fully intends to win and get the 500 euros that go along with the victory. <laughs> As for Daddy, he drew the number 49 and will be in the first race. Altogether, 94 camels will compete for the winnings. Daddy, Django, can you, Daddy? 